one of the most isolated tribes in the world has been photographed in the most detailed pictures ever taken of them. And they've been released by Survival International. The Maso Piro tribe are hostile to outsiders and have been blamed for a number of attacks. They live in the jungles of southeastern Peru near the Manu National Park. The tribe has been seen on the banks of a jungle river popular with environmental tourists. Oil and gas projects as well as illegal logging are being blamed for pushing the tribes to new areas. Experts say the tribe is vulnerable to disease and addiction and hope any contact with the outside world is regulated. Now imagine an entire community of self-sustaining forest dwellers with no pro pro protection, no contact and protection whatsoever with the outside world. Well, what, what is this? Uh, this is what this tribe is actually uh, living right now. Well, let's speak some more about this to Rebecca Spooner, who is a Peru campaigner with Survival International, the group that released those detailed pictures. She joins us live from London. Thank you very much for your time. So tell us first about uh, why the release of these pictures now, because we've been talking about this since last year, I believe. Yes, that's true. Survival has only just received the very detailed photos that you can see on uh, our press release, which show uh, for the first time in very high detail this group of Mashkopiro Indians from the Peruvian Amazon. Um, the incidents of violence have been increasing over the last few months, and we really want to put the pressure on the Peruvian government mm. to do something about this really volatile situation. Well, the Peruvian government has called on people not to approach this, uh, the, the tribe. Is this a good first step? And uh, what, what is it that's uh, leading to more sightings, in fact, of the tribe? Well, in fact, the Mashkopiro were known to be a fairly passive tribe up mm. until 2001, where these incidents started to occur more and more. And it's only in the recent months that there have been increasing levels of violence where they've been shooting bow, uh, arrows into the rivers or at people indeed. Um, so it shows that their land is being taken over more and more and they're feeling more and more under threat by mm. the encroachers. So there's a lot more to be done to protect the land. So the Mastu uh, Piro tribe want to be left alone, as I understand, uh, or are they perhaps interested in exploring uh, the outside world and forming ties with the outside world? Or is that not the case? I'm sure that they are interested. It's always surprising how much uncontacted tribes know about the outside world. Um, but they've clearly expressed their desire to be left alone. I mean, firing arrows at people or warning arrows into the rivers is quite a clear sign that they don't want anyone invading their ancestral territory. Mm. So what is your message uh, to the Peruvian government? What, what are you calling on the Peruvian government to do? We're asking the Peruvian government to put a stop to the widespread illegal logging that is all around the Peruvian Amazon that is threatening not just the Mashko Piro but other 15 approximate groups of uncontacted peoples in the area. We'd like them to put a stop to any oil and gas exploration that is on land inhabited by these uncontacted groups mm. and to just protect the area from any groups that have express their desire to be left alone. Right. And just just to understand, how is it that a tribe in, in, in our days today of, you know, communications and so on, how is it possible that they've stayed so long without being known about? Well, we have actually known about this group of Mashko Piro Indians for a long time. Mm -hmm. It's not that we don't know about them. It's not that they are lost. It's not that they don't know where they are. It's just that they have uh, tried to keep their isolation by living in very remote areas of this large Amazon area. So we do know that they're there, they know that they're there, but they are just trying to stay away from everybody else. Okay, thank you very much for speaking to us, Rebecca Spooner, joining us there live from London.